Chris Moose did remind me that I might have forgot to uh, stick a video up yesterday for an advent calendar. Sha. I'm Sarcastic Bomb and welcome to the channel and welcome to a double advent calendar video because oh, real life gets in the way and time. Uh, for anyone who wanted to know, the very quick live stream one that we did for Monday, which the crappiest of internet in the entire world once again, yes we did enjoy it and we would probably drink some more of it. Now we've got two beers today from two different breweries. Are they two different breweries or the same brewery? They're two different breweries. Unfortunately, they're both hazy. So I think we're going to start with the green one, which is a New England IPA, being hazy. There we are. This one is from Lidl, once again. Yes, it's in a can, I know, I know. A rather thick can by the sound of it. Jeez, that was loud. Right, oh, let's see what the thing says. Uh, nothing. Brewed in Scotland using American. Hmm, okay. Uh, it says nothing else about this beer, apart from we know it's hazy. So we'll pour our oh, and it's really fucking fizzed. It's also it does say fucking hazy, doesn't it? Yes. Okay. Whatever. Uh, Five percent better Scottish beer. IPA being hazy, which isn't hazy. That's that's really confused the shit out of me. I really should pour that in a different glass. I've really fucked this one up. Um, right, okay. Smells nice. It's a bit sharp on the citrus. I will be fucking honest. Jesus. Tusk, you lied to me. You said they do good beer in Scotland. That's far too citrusy. I know it's... Oh, no. 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 And a million times. No. Wow. Right. Fresh glass. This next one is another Scottish beer. From Stuart Brewing. Uh, it's a crazy haze. It's another hazy IPA. 5.1%, so we're going for the same sort of strength. This one's saying hazy. The other one was just named hazy. Uh, oh, this one's actually got blumph. The blumph is a soft, pillowy mouthful f forms the perfect base for a big hint of bright tropical and stone fruit flavours in this high hazy IPA. <sighs> Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. We'll just put it with a shitty bloody beer so you don't have to. It's even worse being that zesty. It's not even going to be good to put in a gravy. <sighs> Alright, I'm just going to rinse my mouth out with something that doesn't taste like shit. Excuse me. Yeah, it's only a Coke, but it'll do. Right. Well, this one's definitely hazy, considering the other one was being hazy. No. That one... I'm not looking forward to this one. It is, again, it... You can smell that zesty citrusness hitting you in the back of the fucking nose. Edinburgh's original craft brewery, Stuart Brewing, have been innovating and brewing great beers since 2004. If you like probably zesty, fruity, flavourful beers, this is probably right up your street. If you like beer, it's probably not. Surprisingly, the taste isn't as zesty as the smell. The taste is 
obviously zesty, but not as much so. Summer beer, really cold, that would probably go down well. Just don't smell it. Hmm. No, I would probably get the crazy haze again. So, Stuart Brewing, don't like the smell, don't like the colour, I'm never a fan of hazy ones. Taste though, not bad. Six out of ten, I'd say. Benning Brewing with your hazy, Benning, being, being hazy, being hazy, whatever. Your IPA. Nah. Nah, mate. Keep it. That is, no. No. Not for me. Not for fucking me. Right. I'm going to get on with uh, doing a video about some crazy people. Maybe flat earthers, may not be flat earthers. I might actually finish this one off. It's still early in the day. But I might finish this beer off. It's finishable offable. Thank you very much. I've been the Sarcastic Bomb. Many apologies for yesterday's video and the shitey, shitey live stream on Monday. The live stream on Sunday seemed to go a bit better, but a couple of disconnects because the internet's just having hissy fits to doom. <sighs> Enjoy the videos. Catch you all tomorrow. Nostar.